afternoon. I have come to a waterfall here in uh, Sofia. And this is the path all the way up. So let's go check it out. And then uh, later we'll go see how Sofia looks for uh, the holidays. So as you can see, we have some snow and a little bit of view of the mountains and the city. So let's see how much better it gets the farther up we go. Wouldn't want to slip there. Now some of you would say, you're, uh, you're kind of crazy for going on this uh, little hike in uh, this. And um, well, all I can say is you might be right. <laughs> so they have the trail marked with these uh, markings on the trees here so that you don't uh, get lost and end up going the wrong direction. Well, that explains the uh, barbed wire. It's not just to mark the trail. Ooh. So I just checked what time the sun's gonna set today. And it says it's gonna be about five. Which means I might not even get there in time to, ooh, to see the waterfall, which is gonna be a real bummer. Jeez. I mean, people have come here, I see foot, footprints, but um, this looks a bit treacherous. And that's where I would end up if I fell. Made it, but it's not getting easier. Don't see where I'm supposed to go from here. Maybe there. This is uh, gonna be hard to do in the dark. Okay, so I've made it to here. But uh, I'm looking at this and thinking about the way back in the dark and I just don't think it's going to be very smart to, uh, to attempt that because look at this. I mean, I don't know if it shows how steep it is, but if you fall here, I mean, it's going to be hard to get back up and it's going to suck. So, I mean, you can see a little bit of the waters, the, you know, waterfall here I'm guessing the one up top is much more beautiful but I mean it's beautiful already I do wish I could continue but it's already starting to get dark and uh, I don't really want to die out here so I'm afraid this one's going to be a fail I'm going to have to chalk this one up to the misadventures section damn it Yeah, as much as I would like to continue, I slipped even just coming back down from there. So imagine this in the dark. I think it's uh, probably a wise decision to uh, call this off. So I'm going to make my way back down and uh, I'll see you along the way. Okay, I'm back down past the part that was more difficult. And uh, yeah. I'm a little disappointed. I thought this was more of a uh, walk, not a hike. Um, which I guess is kind of silly because it's a waterfall, so that means you got to go up. But um, yeah, so in any case, you can see though, I mean, somebody's done it, but I guess they didn't do it in the dark because you can see trails, the tracks that aren't not only mine. But um, yeah, I don't fancy doing this in the dark, so. Yeah, I'm not entirely disappointed though because this is still very beautiful even though I only hiked maybe one fourth, 25% of the hike. So, if, if that. But um, yeah, it's still very beautiful getting to enjoy the wintry uh, nature 
here. But it would have been really cool to make it up there and see the um, the waterfall. Okay, apparently there's a small lake, smaller waterfall, not quite as far. And this trail path is much, much more doable than uh, the other one. So, as I say that, it gets very steep. But, um, yeah, this is doable. This is one of the downsides to um, just going and not doing a whole lot of research. You just go someplace and see what you see. I mean, it can be great because you get surprised, you know, you just go someplace and just see it. Um, but uh, this is the other side of that coin is that you go there and you're wholly unprepared for what is actually there. So pros and cons. It's not a bad view though. I don't know how well the camera's picking it up in between the trees, but we're a lot higher than the city, higher above the city than I thought we would be. I think that's it. Here we go. Bayana Lake. And I guess maybe the little waterfall, because there's supposed to be like a little waterfall around here. But it might be cold enough that it's frozen. Because I don't hear anything, because the lake is frozen. I don't know if you can tell, but you can see. It's beautiful though. I don't know if it was worth that hike, but in the snow, I mean, if it wasn't, if I wasn't worried about it getting dark and uh, coming back down, then I would say it's absolutely worth it. And the original waterfall probably would have been great, but as you can see, it's already getting dark and I wouldn't have made it and I wouldn't have even been able to film. So it would have been like a total failure. That would really suck to step into the lake. I guess this is the list of wildlife that they have here in this lake. Well, the lake of, Bay of Bayana in the hills above Sofia. fail of a winter hike <laughs> but um yeah so i mean it's still beautiful i'm not i'm not entirely disappointed because just being able to walk in this this winter weather was pretty cool um still a little nervous about the trip down but um yeah so bayana lake in the southern district of bayana in sofia so i guess farther up there's a monastery, but it's much farther. Based off the map, it's much, much farther. And um, I'm not going to make it there while well, it's still daylight. So it's a bummer, but um, I guess it would be really cool. And I think it closes at like 5, which is now. So, And I started at 4, so that gives you an idea. Or like 3.30 or something. So that gives you an idea how long it took me just to get here. Um, I guess in ideal conditions when it's not snowy that would be easier to do. This hike would be much faster. I don't know how much you could see on the camera how steep it was, but uh, the original path was really steep. So this one that I'm going down now is still steep, but not quite as bad. So, yeah. And I... Uh, I would probably not be filming too much the trip down because if I fall and I drop the camera, camera's not waterproof and then it's all over. So, yeah. Creepy abandoned building? Yes, it is. Open the door. Dare I knock on the door? I don't think so. Weird little stairway. What is up here? Yeah, 
wonder what it was before. If anybody knows, feel free to put in the comments. Okay, down we go. Okay, I'm still on my way down. As you can see, it's starting to get dark. So, wish me luck. Hopefully I can get down before it gets dark, dark. Oh, man, just check it out, so beautiful. It's just winter. It's so quiet. I love it. I love the winter weather. Ooh. Don't fall as you get down the stairs coming down. That would be unfortunate to get hurt at this part. I made it. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, let's go get some food. Well, for those of you who don't know, Uber doesn't work in Bulgaria, nor does Yandex. So they have an app called Taxi Me that works here. Um, but no taxis were answering my uh, call, so I'm stuck hoofing it. Just uh, hopefully I can get back to at least like a business or something and maybe there'll be a, more likely they'll pick me up there but uh yeah wish me luck I sat down for some soup, and um, yeah, it's not exactly Bulgarian, but um, there's lots of uh, options in Sofia that are not just Bulgarian food. So if you fancy some ramen, you can have some ramen. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this after my cold hike, and then uh, okay, well finished, super tasty. Um, yeah, I didn't want to talk too much because I was pretty hungry. I haven't eaten much today, but I also have a uh, proper. Japanese beer here, Kirin Ichiban. So, yeah, if you're, uh, you know, just craving something, you know, international in Sofia, you can also usually find it. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna pay up here and uh, get on my way. Okay, so that's Umamido ramen place here in uh, Sofia. And, uh, yeah, bill came to 28 lev, so, like 14-ish dollars. Uh, so not the cheapest place, but, um, Pretty tasty. I'm not a Brahmin expert by any stretch of the imagination, but um, compares to anything I had in the States. So, yeah, let's get out there and see what else is going on in Sofia during the holidays. Okay, so here in this park next to the uh, Ivan Vazov Theater, there is a holiday park market uh, thing. So, let's go check it out. Okay, here we go. Holiday cookies, Christmas ornaments, glint vine. Grab that candle. Grilled meats. With those sausages. Way more crowded in here than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be kind of empty, actually, seeing as it's a uh, Tuesday. But um, yeah, I guess everybody's in the holiday spirit. There are nutcrackers. It's actually live performance, which is uh, not what I expected. People here just eating. Enjoying their uh, holiday evenings, pretzels, nice, nice, we have our knit goods here, 
Poncho. Nice. I'm not sure it's my style, but. Okay, so I got myself some uh, waffle sticks with. Uh, I'm not sure if it's white chocolate or if it's vanilla, but uh, let's see here. I was gonna try to eat it in the uh, holiday park over there, but um, it's too crowded and too loud. You guys won't even be able to hear me, so let's see then. Let's see what this is like. Hopefully this doesn't burn me. Okay, it's definitely white chocolate. It's pretty good though. Um, a little bit overpriced, I think it was like four dollars. But what do you expect in a place like that? So, yeah. Alright, I really only wanted one, so I'm gonna finish this up and then, uh, yeah, we'll get back to filming. Okay, I am uh, cold and tired. I hope you enjoyed our little misadventure in the mountains of uh, Sofia and our uh, trip through the uh, Sofia um, holiday street market. And yeah, so I'm calling it a night, I'm going home. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, see you next time.